Ito to kormit? Ito kotomin. Ito kotomin. Ito to kormit? Ito kormit. Ito to kormit? Ito kotomin. Ito kotomin. Got it. Almost. You were really close. <laughs> Someone has one day here and, and you give them one meal, what is it gonna be? In the winter it will be either seal, polar bear, in the summer it will be muskox or no whales. And walruses. We eat everything that lives here, except for humans. <laughs> no cannibals here? No cannibals at all. <laughs> <laughs> over 95% of Greenland's 57,000 residents live on the west coast. But if you cross over the second largest ice sheet on Earth, you'll come across a tiny little settlement on the rocky eastern shores with a population of 350. Welcome to the most isolated place in Greenland. Itokotomit. It's a place where there's only one grocery store, one church, and one jail. That hasn't been used for six months, so that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a place where bright colored buildings look like life-size monopoly homes, and where Greenlandic huskies roam the streets, not as domestic pets, but as sled dogs to transport goods. It almost feels like I found a hidden settlement on the moon. Like, it's so remote here. Their closest neighbor is the world's largest and most isolated national park, which contains a 3,000 kilometer rugged coastline of icebergs and glaciers. So right now, Niels and I are standing on a helicopter pad, and he just told me that there is an airstrip over there, and every time a plane arrives, a helicopter has to come three times three times to pick up passengers and bring them over here because there's no other way to get here only a few expedition ships arrive each year where tourists like myself get the unique opportunity to interact with this fascinating local community what's your favorite thing about living here the freedom the people here yeah, it's very kind the nature there is nothing else when you get out there no houses no towns no noises everything here and you have to be quite self-reliant <laughs> The most exciting thing now to, uh, about to happen is uh, the muskox hunt. After six hours I spent in this town, I saw nothing but giggly kids riding around. People driving ATVs up and down the dirt road and smiling at the camera. But as I ventured deeper and deeper into the society, I couldn't help but wonder, how do these people survive? There are no natural resources here. You can't grow fruits or vegetables. Basic goods like toothpaste are extremely expensive. And even though it's summertime now, the winters are often spent in minus 30 degrees Celsius. But then I found the answer. Our main two elements uh, for surviving this land is actually the water. The sea is where we do most of our fishing and hunting and the ice to commute on. They hunt seals, walruses and polar bears. And while this may seem unethical to you, please remember that these people have been doing it here for thousands of years and it's the only way they can get food to survive. Back in the day he used to catch uh, 10 polar bears in a year. Wow. We use everything that we can, nothing gets left behind. Seals? I mean you guys eat the blubber and... Yep. It's it goes really good with a dried uh, jar. <laughs> a skull of a polar bear can be actually a really good wedding gift. It's absolutely fascinating to be able to experience life firsthand in a really remote village like this in Eastern Greenland. There's literally nothing to stress about. I mean, you wake up every day is the same, you know everybody in the town, it's completely safe, and it just makes you appreciate the little things in life. And I hope to come back here again in the winter when everything is covered in snow. But for now, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. It's been really fun to make this video. And I'll catch you later. Hey guys, if you are interested in going to Greenland or Iceland in 2020 or 2021, Hertogruten is offering you a special 25% off. Simply go to this website or call this number and mention my name and act quickly because the offer is only valid for one month. You're welcome. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.